Welcome to the Aegis Configurator from Apricorn, delivering the ability to set up multiple devices easily, simultaneously, and in a matter of seconds. Whether you're setting up one Apricorn secure drive or a thousand, the Configurator device setup is done in a fraction of the time it would take to do it manually. Additionally, the Configurator allows you to create and save multiple master profile settings which can be used again and again for future device deployments. One last thing, to make sure that your device is compatible with the Aegis Configurator, check on the back or the belly of the device and look for the Configurator C logo. Once the Configure software is installed and launched, let's start the tour with the intro dashboard. From this point, you can access whatever panel you want to use, create master profiles, configure devices, manage profiles, and query the log file. You'll find that the Configurator is very simple and intuitive, but if you should have any questions along the way, just click the Help icon up here in the menu bar. Let's start with the Create Master Profiles panel. This is where it all begins. User profiles are made, edited, named, and saved for future device deployments. This panel is where all options and feature selections are designated and saved to master profile settings. The first thing you'll want to do is to select a device type and give your profile a name. Or, should you want to edit a previously created profile, just click the Import Profile button select the profile you wish to edit, and make the desired changes. From there, either overwrite the existing profile with the same name, or create a new profile by giving it a new name. Now, set your minimum pin length, and you're ready to set your admin pin. You can either select Auto-Generate for the admin pin, or you can enter your own. Particularly useful for saving time and ensuring a randomly generated pin are the autofill options for setting admin, user, and recovery pins. Just set your pin length, click the auto-generate buttons, which will then permit you to set a maximum pin length, and you're all set. We call the absence of a default factory preset pin forced enrollment. With the Aegis Configurator, we've expanded that feature by creating user forced enrollment. If you click the activate user forced enrollment checkbox, as long as there's no data being loaded on the device it's set up, you, the admin, can set the device up with your admin pin, recovery pins, and whatever feature you want to enable or customize, all while leaving the generation of the user pin up to the user. Since there are no default pins, the user is therefore forced to enroll his or her pin before the drive can ever be used. Another very useful feature introduced in the configurable device family is a one-time use recovery pins. When enabled, the recovery pin allows data on the drive to be accessed in the event of a forgotten user pin by creating a new state of user forced enrollment, as we just described. In the Aegis Configurator, we set these recovery pins exactly the same as we did for the user pins, either auto-generate or manually enter them into the box. To the right, we have the Device Features column where you can create master profiles consistent with your security policy or application, change formats, and even load files onto the device before deployment. For more information, refer to your device's manual or visit apricorn.com. Once your profile creation is complete, press Create and you're ready to apply it to devices. Now on to Configure Devices. This is where the profiles you've created are applied to the actual devices themselves. Again, starting with the red box, select Device Type and the profile you want to apply. In the box below, you'll see all the serial numbers of the devices plugged into the powered USB hub. Now select the devices you want to configure with this profile, or select all. To the right, you'll see all of the feature settings associated with this profile. Hit apply and the devices will be configured in a matter of seconds. Once you have a number of profiles created, the Manage Profiles panel is where you would go to examine the particulars of your profiles at a glance, as well as edit or delete them. Lastly, let's have a look at the Queried Drives panel. With this tool, you can query your database of configured devices either by device serial number or by profile name. From there, you can look up pins and device settings saved at the time of configuration. And with the Print button, you'll get a columned report that can be printed and later shredded or stored in a very secure place. Additionally, you can export the log file as a CSV. As with the printed report, this file has access info that must be protected and stored in an extremely secure manner like, oh, I don't know, an encrypted external drive. Here's a final note on the security of our devices set up using the Aegis Configurator. The Configurator software will only interact with a device that is in the out-of-box mode. 
that is, a device that has never been set up before or has been completely reset. Once configured, each individual device's firmware will lock and prevent any further setup communication with the configurator software. For more information on the Aegis Configurator and our extensive line of hardware-encrypted external drives, visit us at apricorn.com.